All right, so we're diving into Marcus Aurelius meditations. Got to be honest, kind of personal, right? Like peeking into someone's well meditation. Yeah, and not just anyone, right? We're talking Roman emperor running the whole show, but also jotting down these thoughts. Not meant for like a publisher or anything. Exactly, history's most relatable emperor, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> but gotta say he jumps right in deep end talking tractable universe always throws me off a bit it's one of those words right it sounds a bit like i don't know obedient school for the cosmos but for aurelius way deeper think of it more like inherent order reason woven into the fabric of everything okay so not random chaos that's got to be reassuring especially with you know running an empire and all but how's that help us today facing down deadlines instead of barbarians think of it like this if you believe everything happens for a reason, even if that reason's beyond us, it changes how you react. Less, why me? More like figuring out your place in the current, you know? So less panicking, more strategizing. All right, universe, what's the play here? Which kind of leads into duty and acceptance. Big in stoicism, right? Huge, but duty for Aurelius, not just blindly following orders. It's more about understanding that universal order than figuring out where you fit. Today, maybe that's our values, what really matters long term, guiding our actions even when things get messy. So less about external pressures, more like finding your own inner compass makes you kind of unshakable, even with life, you know, lifing all around you. Exactly. It's not about suppressing emotions, more like finding that still point amidst chaos. We can't control everything that happens, right? But we can control how we respond. Which, speaking of control, or at least choices, Aurelius talks about really examining the value we place on things. And in our world, bombarded with ads and likes. That's got to be a tough one. You said it. Constant comparison, curated perfection, easy to forget what truly matters, you know? I think Aurelius would be all over this. Asking us to pause, think, does this relationship bring me genuine joy? Does this goal deep down align with who I want to be? It's about being present, mindful, not just swept along. Hitting the refresh button on our priorities, mm -hmm. which on that note, Aurelius also talks about change being constant. And well, he's not wrong. Nope. Our bodies change, stuff breaks, heck, even our thoughts, they're in constant flux. But he ties it back to that universal order. Like, even in the midst of all that, there's still a reason, a, a larger pattern unfolding. It's actually kind of comforting once you get your head around it. Comforting, but maybe requiring some mental yoga, right? <laughs> okay, next up, and this one's big for me, revenge. Aurelius, he's got this idea. Best revenge is not becoming like the person who wronged you. Whoa. Talk about taking the high road. It's pure stoicism that focus on what you can control. Your actions, your character. Imagine if we all, even just a little bit, operated like that. World would be a different place, that's for sure. Less Twitter wars, more like thoughtful disagreements. Okay, last bit from Aurelius for today. And it's a good one. He talks about finding joy and being kind in connection with others. And honestly, after everything we've talked about, kind of heartwarming, right? It is, because so often we're stuck in our own heads, anxieties, ambitions. Aurelius reminds us that joy, it's also in connecting, offering a helping hand, even small things. We're all interconnected, part of something bigger. Simple idea, but powerful. Makes you think if this emperor all those centuries ago could give us one piece of advice for today, what would it be? Steady like a metronome. Life ain't no paradise. Women dust in catacombs. Mind steel clad. Heart calm amidst the cyclone. Strength in the stillness where my scars as a keystone. Stoic sword slice through chaos. Never once deterred. Struggle forged the iron will. Silence is preferred. Pillars patience. Wisdom's echo never slurred. Battlegrounds rage and virtues blaze undisturbed. Vice is tempted. Whispers in the midnight. Virtues lantern. Cutting through the dark night. Battle rages. Yet I'm standing on on the Zen height, stoic vision, crystal clear, guiding through the fight, running through the gauntlet, fire in my veins, burn, pain a teacher, lessons edged, pages that we turn, fortress of the mind, no retreat, no concern, virtue steady beacon, storms I discern, running through the gauntlet, fire in my veins, burn, pain a teacher, lessons edged, pages that we turn, fortress of the mind, no retreat, no concern, virtue steady beacon, storms I discern. Against the current, standing tall, never bent World spins frantic, I refuse to relent Timeless wisdom flows every single event Stoic calm, unyielding, life's true testament Weight of a thousand trials, break chains ascend Mind over matter, wounds men start again Clarity and silence, where's the anger transcend Stoic path, unshaken till the One very... day I made a decision that enough is enough I'm tired of being average I'm tired 
I'm tired of being good. I'm tired. I want to go to the dealership and buy the best car. I want to move to the nicest neighborhood. I want to fly first class. I want to go to Hawaii. I want to go to Australia. I, want, I made a decision. Enough is enough. It's showtime. Will the real Eric Thomas please stand up? Some of you in the room right now, you are where you are. You're giving 60% when you have 120 in you. Why? Because you've never made a decision. Shh, there are those of you in this room, you already there. Your problem is this and stuff. You don't want to give up the goal. You're talented. You just don't want to give up sleep. Listen to me, pound for pound, any agent in the room, pound for pound, motivational speaker, pound for pound, entrepreneur, pound for pound, athlete, pound for pound, weightlifter, pound for pound, whatever you do, I guarantee you when you do it, nobody can do it like you do it. The problem is you don't hardly do it. You love sleep too much. You love that alcohol too much. You love that substance too much. You love that vice too much. There's something that you love more than yourself then your dream, then your goals. Watch what happens when you have a goal that only has two reasons. See how long that lasts. Watch a goal that has 50 reasons and see how. There's some, somebody called me the other day on an interview, stupid question. E.T., what do you feel like on the days that you don't feel like? I said, ask, ask the question again, please. Well, what do you do on the days that you don't feel like so I'm going to be honest with you, I'm way past that. Every day I feel like, every day I feel like eating. Every day I feel like giving my wife the best life. Every day. I Things are only impossible until they are not. We live in an age when unnecessary things are only necessities. Waste no time arguing what a good person should be. Be one. Marcus Aurelius. Stupid is the man who always remains the same. People are more selfish than you think they are. The self is not something to be achieved. It is what you already are. Nisargadatta Maharaj Make sure that you strengthen the positive side of this argument with yourself so that day by day you become healthier, day by day you become stronger, day by day you become wiser, day by day you build a better shield and immunity an inside immunity to ward off disease but an outside immunity to ward off all the negative and all the trash and all the stuff that would not enhance your personal development nor your promise for the future. So this is so important in understanding the mind. Feed it. We call it food for thought. That's what a big share of this whole seminar is all about these three days, is to writing food to think about, thoughts to think about, and then ideas to debate. And it's not necessarily what's right or what's wrong, but what's better, or what's best. This is okay, but this would be better. With this, yes, you can manage, but with this, you can flourish. With this, you can exist. With this, you can live a fantastic life. So, exercising the mind. Now, to develop the mind, you need a good library. Let me give you three parts to your library. Number one is your visual library. Zig and I and others have put things on video so you can see it. We ask you to come here today and see what's going on. So part of it comes by visual, come and see. And then if it's on video, you can see it again and again and again. Key phrase, repetition is the mother of learning. Repetition is where if we hear it again, we see something we didn't see when we heard it the first time. We see something different that we didn't see the first time. Next is your listening library. Zig Ziglar's right. Turn your car into a mobile classroom. You can have a university education in a fairly short period of time. For several dispositions or inclinations there be of the mind and understanding, which to be aware of, thou must carefully observe. And whensoever thou doest discover them, 
thou must rectify them, saying to thyself concerning every one of them, This imagination is not necessary, this is uncharitable, this thou shalt speak as another man's slave or instrument, than which nothing can be more senseless and absurd. For the fourth thou shalt sharply check and upbraid thyself. For that thou doest suffer that more divine part in thee, to become subject and obnoxious to that more ignoble part of thy body, and the gross lusts and concupiscences thereof. When you feel like giving up, remember why you held on for so long in the first place. No one will ever give you love because you want him or her to give it. Real love moves freely in both directions. Don't waste your time on anything else. The best way to predict your future is to create it. Peter Drucker Make your enemy brave and strong, so that if defeated, I will not be ashamed. Not every sweet root gives birth to sweet grass. The mind is only a collection of thoughts, but you are the witness of those thoughts. Papaji Here's how to really cash in on this year. Get serious. Life is serious. We're here to instruct. We're here to grow. We're here to learn. We're here to get the best we possibly can. Serious. Life is serious. The future is serious. How come such a difference from those who can reach such incredible heights and those who haven't yet found the answers for their life and their health and their future? We just have to ponder that and let that give us a note of seriousness, a note of seriousness. It's serious whether you win or lose. It's serious whether you succeed or fail. It's serious whether you've got a good future carved out for yourself or you do not have. And I'm asking you to take it serious. Take your own future serious. What you can do for your family, take it serious. This is serious business. So that's the first thing I want to bring to you. To have the best year ever this year, get serious. You know, study, learn, grow, change, develop. Never let it be said you didn't learn. Right? If you want to solve your problems, you got to learn. If you want to take advantage of an opportunity, you got to learn. We can't come here and just give you the marketing plan, give you the product, send you home. We got to stay for a while. Learn, stay for a while. Put on those cassettes and stay for a while. Learn from your own experience, right? So the call didn't go well, all the stuff. Guess what they did when they finished that call? They made another call. What else could we do to make it better? How could we possibly improve? This is called the possibility for life change starts with education. Don't be lazy in learning. Don't be lazy in picking up the ideas. Don't be lazy in learning from your own experience. That's why you've heard from some people that have shared their testimonial here and given you some of their ideas, ways and means. Learning is the beginning of wealth. Learning is the beginning of life change. Do some learning. Take it back home. To have your best year ever. Make your dreams come true. And get smart. A few simple disciplines practice. Where without any change in circumstances, the things held to be just by law are seen not to correspond with the concept of justice in actual practice. Such laws are not really just. But wherever the laws have ceased to be advantageous because of a change in circumstances, in that case the laws were for that time just when they were advantageous for the mutual dealings of the citizens and subsequently ceased to be just when they were no longer advantageous. We all live upon the past, and through the past, we are destroyed. If the path is beautiful, let us not ask where it leads. Quad me, nutrit me, destruit, what nourishes me destroys me. Latin proverb. 